If you're thinking about canceling your group health insurance plan and replacing it with an HRA, but you're not sure where to start, then this video is for you. It's a lot easier than you think, but there are some important things to keep in mind. So let's go over the three-step process you'll use when you're ready to make the change from group health insurance to an HRA. The first step is notifying your current insurance provider. And there are two ways to do this. You can either reach out to your insurance company directly to let them know you'd like to cancel your plan, or you can connect with them through your broker. Most group health insurance plans can be canceled at any time, but check your contract to make sure before you make any changes. The insurance company will want to know the effective date of your cancellation, so be sure to have a date in mind before you call. We recommend giving 60 days notice so that you can notify your employees about the change and they can use their full special enrollment period to shop around for an individual policy that meets their needs. A special enrollment period is a time when you're allowed to make changes to your health insurance plan outside of the annual open enrollment period at the end of the year. Your employees losing their group coverage qualifies them for this special enrollment period, which gives them 60 days to sign up for new health care coverage. And don't forget to ask for loss of coverage documentation for your employees so they can prove their eligibility for their special enrollment period. This will help your employees avoid any gaps in their coverage. The next step is to set up your HRA. If you're enrolling in a plan with PeopleKeep, all it takes is a 15 minute phone call. A PeopleKeep Benefits Advisor will ask you about your organization, your employees, and your goals before recommending an HRA that best suits your specific needs. Then once you've decided which HRA to offer, they'll help you design and set up your new benefit. Make sure you include all key internal stakeholders on the call so that everyone stays up to speed. And it's also helpful to have your computer, employer identification number, employee eligibility requirements, desired allowance amounts, and your credit card or other payment information ready to go as well. The last step is to notify your employees. And to be honest, this is the most important step since communication is key to helping your employees understand this change to their coverage. Many of your employees may not have heard of an HRA before, so be sure to inform them of the change and how an HRA works ahead of time so there won't be any confusion. When transitioning from a group health insurance plan to an HRA, the last thing you want is for your employees to view this as a downgrade because in reality, it's quite the opposite. HRAs empower your employees to choose the healthcare plans and services they want while also providing value to those who may not have participated in the group plan, such as those on a spouse's or parent's plan. And with an HRA, most employees spend their allowance on insurance premiums, but depending on your plan design, the allowance can also be used on over 200 eligible out-of-pocket expenses, including things like co-payments, prescription medications, and even braces. PeopleKeep will send your employees a formal notification of their benefit, but you'll want to give them a heads up before we make it official. Replacing your group health insurance plan with an HRA is an ideal way for organizations, both big and small, to go from a complicated and expensive health plan to a hassle-free health benefit solution that works for everyone. At PeopleKeep, our award-winning customer support team helps thousands of organizations administer their own HRA every day, and we'd love to help you too. Tap below to subscribe and get more health benefits news updates like this. If you're interested in an HRA for your organization, Visit peoplekeep.com to learn how we can help you get started.